This video tutorial is going to show you a very effective feature for looking at charts as well as screeners, calendars, and options data all at the same time in a really neat split view format. So as you can see here, I'm looking at a chart of Visa, ticker V, just a daily chart. And let's say while I'm looking at this chart, I want to go find out what's happening in the world of earnings. What type of earnings reports are on the calendar? Well, naturally, I can go to the bottom right here where it says calendars and click. Now, as you know, when my calendar I tool is open, I can adjust the size to fit my screen as needed. Very, very helpful, very effective. But what you might notice is that it does block out some information and it also doesn't allow me to use my watch list. Well, from here onward, whenever you open up a tool like this, look for the split view button. It's right up here at the top right. It kind of looks like a window with an arrow. I'm going to click and just like that, I've now created a split view where my earnings calendar is now its own separate view, totally independent from the chart. And I can even still access my watch list or my alerts or my object tree or my char chats and so much more, including screeners and options. So now you're probably starting to realize, wow, this is a whole new way to build an entirely new workflow for yourself when you are analyzing markets and no matter the asset class, by the way. So I've got my earnings calendar here. I can also go to revenue. I can also go to dividends and I can also click into specific days. This way I'm watching the price action unfold. All of the data I have on my chart here, maybe I have some drawings, perhaps I had a horizontal line because I was watching where this bounced. All of this can remain on my chart while I can simultaneously get ready for dividends, revenue, and earnings, and even click through the specific days. Now, this is also much more than just you know equity investors. It could also be futures, crypto, Forex. For example, if you click the economic button, now we have our economic calendar in this split view format. We can also, of course, still open up our watch list details and news menu. And now actually, if we get really creative, we can have three pretty key pieces of information all up here on our screen at once. And let me just change this now to a Forex pair, because in this example, let's just say that we are, you know, looking at the euro us dollar we've got our watch list and our details and we've got our economic calendar this is a whole new way to use trading view to build the perfect look and feel and data and charting and information that you need on one screen chart here watch list details here and the economic calendar. Now, if you're a Forex investor or a Forex trader, you probably will actually prefer the economic calendar, which means you're now looking at the specific Forex pair of your choice right here on the, on the chart, and then simultaneously having your economic calendar right here, never missing an upcoming economic event. As, as we all know, in the world of Forex, economic events can move markets quickly. So this is probably a feature you're gonna wanna get good at because now you can watch the Forex markets while knowing what economic events are coming. We can just click Thursday, what economic events are on the way, the country, and so much more. Now I'm going to exit out of this because it's important to remind you that this split view feature also works for the screener tools and the options tools. Now I'm going to jump ahead here to the option, the screeners tools. You can see here, it's got this bullseye, this arrow or the screener radar type of look. I'm going to click this icon and check it out. I have actually already have a screen open that I was previously working on. In fact, I made a video all about the screener as well. So if you're interested, go watch that in-depth video. But for the time being, I've opened up my screener. Let's actually, you know, click into a, a symbol that's on our screener tool. And one thing that stands out is all of a sudden I can't see my watch list again. I can't see the price scale, but check it out. There is our split view button. I click. And just like that, our split view is activated. We now have our wonderful chart of arm holdings and our screen right here. Now, if you want to see something really cool, this is where it really gets fascinating with the screener is check this out. If you really, you know, do this the right way, you can have a really wonderful screener, you know, activated 
finding you the specific symbols you want to find. Then if you click over to the chart format, you now have all of these charts on your right hand side while simultaneously having the chart you're looking at here. And it's pretty cool because if you think a chart looks good, you can literally just click into that chart. And just like that, the chart here on the left where you can do your drawings, your analysis, add your indicators is also going to update. So this is a really effective tool, as you can see, for some quick screening and then going through a list of charts that might catch your attention. Now, keep in mind, these charts are only being shown here because I've set up all of my parameters. Quick background, you create a screen, you add the filters, and it will show you all of the symbols that meet those filters. In this case, market cap above 1 billion, free cash flow, gross margin. And I've got, and also it looks like, down 20% in the last month because there was a sell-off. I've got 22 symbols on this list. So just like that, you can see all of these symbols right here and then click into them and have your chart activated as well. And you can still utilize the screener as you would and as you're used to right here from the split view. But just to remind you about how cool this is, you can utilize this great chart view feature to see all of the screens right here on the right hand side while looking at the specific chart of your choice. And of course, if a chart does interest you as you're going through them, all you have to do is click and that chart will appear right here. And then you can get back to doing your drawings, adding your indicators, all of that good stuff. Now I'm going to exit out of this because this video has one more feature to show you because it is a new feature. It is something that many people have been asking for for a long time. And it also comes with the new split view capability. And that is at the bottom right here where it says options. If I click options, well, you guessed it, you're going to open up the options strategy builder, the capability to access the options chain and the volatility tool. So you've got these three really important features for options. But once again, similar to the entire you know, flow of this video, it's great that I have my options tool open here and my chart here. But if I want to access more, still see the price scale, still see my watch list, I'm going to go ahead and look for the all new split view button. There it is again at the top right. I click and now, ladies and gentlemen, check it out. I have my options tool right here under the right in its split view. I can, of course, change its size as needed. And then I have the chart here that I'm looking at as well. Now, for a lot of you traders out there that are interested in options, this is pretty special to have. So, for example, I'm going to go pull up a chain of Tesla. Now I'm going to go over here and type in Tesla. And now what I've got here is I've got a chart of Tesla right here. And let's just get this view to what we want. Let's see if we can get some good price information. There we go. So I've got this chart up here of Tesla. And then next to me, I've got the options chain. Now I'm recording this video on March 26th. So there are some options expiring this Friday on March 28th. Pretty interesting. Why don't I take a look? Let's just see here. We can see that price today closed at $272 per share. So I can see this right here, 272. Here's the price, the strike, 272. It looks like there's an ask of 610 on the call side and a bid of $6. And I can see that, of course, by just navigating calls here. Let's slide this over here, puts here. If we wanted to make this bigger so that we could see that information, well, you guessed it, we could just simply expand the window, calls and puts. We've got all of our options data as well, and we've got Tesla right here. Now, what's cool about that is you can literally look at the options chain in essentially real time, all of the pricing information there, and map out the level. So Tesla at 272, this calls about six bucks. So two, so you probably need 278 to really to really have a chance in that in that region. So what we could do here is take a horizontal line, add the line here, let's double click, let's do coordinates, let's type in 278. And now what's beautiful about this is what we can do is look at Tesla's price action today and then have a horizontal line to mark this 272. Uh, this 272 call option and then we can ask ourselves does that look realistic we can even go into a different time frame say 30 minutes 
it actually briefly traded up there. It looks like that was just yesterday on Tuesday, but was under that level all throughout today. Interesting candle here though, to close out the day, some, some buying power, some strength. But the point is, this is the type of research you can do with the new split view. And let's see, it needs about 2% to get to that level. This is the type of, inf the type of research you can do with split view, combining these special features on TradingView with the all new split view capability. Now, this is just one example. I didn't even walk you through the strategy builder, but if you want to learn more about the options builder on TradingView, go to our help center, go to our YouTube channel. We've got walkthroughs for all of it. Now, just quickly going back to this new feature and how we want to wrap up this video is as you get started, whenever you are on TradingView and you access a specific tool, say, for example, let's just go back to the calendar and you see this wonderful icon up here with a, like a window and an arrow, arrow. This is how you can activate split view. So just give it one quick click and split view will appear. And then you can set up your workstation as needed. And you can watch multiple data points, multiple charts, different information. And even if you wish your watch list all at the same time, because it now gives you another window to work with. So this is really powerful stuff. It, it really is going to unlock a whole new way to be creative with TradingView. And the next step is for you to get out there and try this new tool. Let us know how you like it send us your feedback. And we look forward to seeing how you use split view to analyze markets, be more prepared, and track all of the information that matters to you across all of the different asset classes, whether it's stocks, crypto, forex, futures, or even just watching economic data or options. So thanks so much for watching, and we look forward to seeing how you use this new tool.